We've got big news hot off the presses. Warner Brothers is going all in on a Joker movie, but that doesn't necessarily mean Jared Leto will be sending his co-stars dead rats anytime soon as a new film label looks to take DC films beyond the current DCEU. I'm Ken Napsok, my own shared universe, and this is Collider News. Breaking late Tuesday is the news that Hangover and War Dogs director Todd Phillips appears to be on board to direct a Joker origin picture for Warner Brothers because why have any mystery about any character anymore? The Hollywood Reporter has confirmed that 8 Mile scribe Scott Silver will co-write the screenplay with Phillips. Now, this does not mean Jared Leto, the most recent big name actor to portray Batman's number one nemesis, would be back in that role. That's because the film would be made under a new, yet to be named label within Warner Brothers Entertainment. This label is going to allow DC to make movies about big characters and place them outside the current DCEU films. Meaning, Jared Leto could still terrorize Ben Affleck in one movie, while another actor could be the Joker in this new film leaving only the internet to terrorize Ben Affleck. Variety is also reporting that legendary director Martin Scorsese could have something to do with this new Joker movie, so fingers crossed that Joe Pesci will play the Penguin. Early rumors have this Joker story taking place in the 1980s and saying it will have more of a gritty crime movie feel as opposed to a comic book movie feel. Also, can we start a drinking game for every time the word gritty is used to describe a new take on an old property? Thanks. This story is fresh, so details are still emerging, meaning you're gonna wanna tune into Movie Talk on Collider Video tomorrow at 10 a.m. to get the whole story. I'm Ken Apsuk, and that was Collider News.